Welcome back, everyone, to Pacific Drive and our beautiful, if somewhat uh, battered, station wagon. Look, it's beautiful on the inside, okay? Even if there are, like, rust pockets and some of the rust is so rusty that it probably is only actually held together by duct tape for the looks of it. But look, okay, there's lots of things in this life that are only held together by duct tape and they perform perfectly well. Thank you very much. Now... Since the last episode, I have had the opportunity to read over some of the comments, and I've gotten some amazing tips. So I'm going to be, uh, first things first, dumping it into the settings. Uh, it was mentioned that it might be worth me turning off loot highlighting, just to emphasize using lights in the dark. Uh, I'm going to keep that off for just now, but I'm going to have that at the back of my, uh, back of my mind. Honestly, I will still miss things even if they're highlighted. This isn't like when you're just playing a game for yourself. I'm also focusing on my recording software. I'm also focusing on what I'm saying. I'm trying to think a few steps ahead in terms of my commentary. So realistically, this is probably just evening the playing field. But also on top of that, and I know that some people get a, a weird joy out of this, is it will make it easier for you to notice things that I don't notice. So I'm going to leave it on for now, but do let me know in the comments if you would like me to turn that off. But there was one in particular that people said. Now, this comes under difficulty, which mm, makes me a little bit hesitant to turn it off, but pause game while in menus. I would like to do this because it would allow me to read uh, log entries as I get them. And there is something about that that I enjoy. But at the same time, having this off very, very much does give me this kind of time pressure. It's like, oh, well, I've got this information on this thing I've just scanned that might be useful in helping me survive it. But right now I'm facing it. So I need to wait until later to have a look. And that's what we're going to be doing in the very beginning of this episode. So once again, I'm going to leave this off. But now I know that it is there, first and foremost. Thank you very much for the correction, because I genuinely thought this game just didn't have a pause mode. But secondly... Again, let me know in the comments if you would like me to turn this on so that when I get a log or a, an audio log, uh, you know, whether it's uh, just listening to someone talking or, or actually diving in and having to read something myself, especially about the anomalies, if we have pause on, then I can do it on the fly. But uh, just be aware that if you're playing this yourself, those options do exist. Now, talking about the logs. Oh, we've got a lot of things to check out. So, first and foremost, let's uh, have a look through here. I don't think... We have missed many, if any, of these in here. I'm fairly certain we covered everything. Anchors are sources of enormous but extremely unpredictable energy. You can feed them to the ARC device in the passenger seat to extract that energy. Once the device is powered to a certain level, it will be able to open a gateway to get you back to the auto shop. The amount of anchor energy needed to open a gateway will vary by junction, but as long as you make it through the gateway, you'll recapture the enemy used uh, to open it. I remember reading that part in particular, so uh, sorry for the rest of it that I'd forgotten. Instability. Your route through the zone will be stable when you set out, but it won't stay that way for long. Monitor the instrument attached to the map display in the passenger seat. They will help you track instability levels. If those levels are high, a storm is very likely. Some things you'll do in the zone will increase instability, but you can outrun it by moving along your route. Nevertheless, the zone's behavior isn't always predictable, especially when you open a gateway, and sometimes there's nothing to do but drive like hell. Fair enough. I approve. Okay, we've got a lot of options in here. So, anchor plug. Private field notes. Dr. Mensa. March 30th, 1970. We have now completed the process of standardizing and replacing all of the anchor mounts and infrastructure these new mounts should be, uh, sorry, and infrastructure. These new mounts should be far more durable, steadfast against weather and atmospheric changes, and resistant to any corrosion. And I should, I guess I should have mentioned this before I start diving into the logs, but uh, once again, I will include chapters and, and possibly even like uh, an overlay on screen with a timestamp, just to let you know, if you're not interested in, in, in reading through the logs with us, you can skip to where we actually get down to the nitty gritty of the game. But uh, I, I've been very much looking forward to, to uh, going through these. This video would have been here yesterday, but I was also looking forward to watching Dune 2 at the cinema, and that just kind of won out a little bit. And so, sorry, not sorry, also Dune 2, really good, you should definitely go and see it. But do be aware, they do change a, a few fundamental things from the books, so, uh, you know, if you're looking for a, a uh, very pure from book-to-screen experience, 
it's not that, but still quite possibly one of the best uh, Dune on-screen experiences that I've had. Uh, this has been a lengthy and difficult process, marred by endless delays. It is my hope that most of these mounts will hold for at least 50 years, but many projections suggest two or even 300. That's far longer than many anchors themselves. This was, I believe, worth it. As usual, I will be compiling and submitting a full casualty list by one, uh, sorry, uh, ten hundred hours tomorrow morning. At that time, I will begin to notify next kin. Oh my god. Alright. Lab computer. Uh, telephone ta transcript. Central exchange monitoring. July 9th, 1963. I wish these were in chronological order, are they? No, they're not. Uh, hello? Hello? Is that the office of Dr. Turner? No, no. The other Dr. Turner. Doesn't matter. I have good news. The best news. Your new computers are up and running. We did it. And these powerhouses are going to absolutely blow you away. We've got some of the world's very best discrete RTL-based integrated circuits with a central processing unit running at one and a half megahertz. All of this is able to address half a million characters of memory. We've even got a 32-bit word length. It's hard to imagine a more powerful machine. What's more, these things barely weigh 70 pounds. It's truly amazing. You absolutely must come down and see one in action. I think Arda might well have pushed computers as far as it will ever go. <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful, naive, hopeful science. Uh, fuel barrel. Uh, transmission fragment. Arda Field Headquarters, July 19th, 1964. No, I need gasoline. Gasoline. Oh, don't pretend you fuel. haven't been well, snooping. You know where the back room is. I... Yes, and also double text? What was that? Uh, whatever you want to call it, fuel doesn't short. Fuel isn't affected by el electromagnetic pulses. Fuel doesn't need replacement parts. I don't care about all the apparently genius technology you reckon is going to solve the world's problems. None of it works in this cursed place. If you want us to ever get anything done, just send more fuel for the generators, for the cars, for the machinery, and send it yesterday. We have time travel as well as computers. My god. Gas station, don't worry about the meter. This is free fuel. And in the zone, you really should take all that you can. An abandoned car. Transmission fragment, Arda Field Headquarters, October 9th, 1968. I guess I'm saying that we all know... Uh, what we all know is obvious by now. But all vehicles, all moving collections of metal, really, seem to attract the attention of a great many anomalies. They get chased. They get attacked. For whatever reason. They get picked apart. I guess aircraft move too fast, or maybe helicopters aren't around for long enough, but cars, this place, and its wildlife just love cars. Sorry, what? Okay, correction, it's not the wild- not wildlife. What? What? Why? Engender sympathy? Look, I'm only repeating what other people say. No, I don't think it's bad to say this is o this over the radio. It's not like our transmissions ever travel anywhere these days. It's like trying to broadcast through molasses or something. I can be on top of a mountain and still get no damn reception. Trust me, nobody outside the zone can hear us. All right, all right, keep your cap on, you New England nut bar. This? This is exactly why nobody likes you. <laughs> okay, tell them what, how you really feel, my lord. Tow truck. Transmission fragment, origin unknown, date unknown. Broken down? Of course we've broken down. Do you need me to recap? We had our doors stolen by one of those floating things. We had our battery drained by one of those bouncing things. We had our wheels ruined by one of those spiky things. We were dragged into a tree by, by, you know, one of those other things. So yes, we've broken down. I can relate to you so much on such a deep spiritual level at this point. Don't act so surprised. Are we the first ever people to break down out here? Why do you think you exist? Why do you think we gave you those, uh, that truck? You know what? You're not fast enough. And I... What? Another job? Who? We broke down first! Ah, uh, people are getting a little bit stressful out there when their cars are being abducted. I can relate. Journal fragment. Date unknown. There's nothing left now. Nothing. Nothing at all. The radios are dead. Every electronic device has shorted or failed. The very last scraps of food are so rotten, not even a rat would scavenge them. Not that I've seen a rat in this place in years. I haven't found anything close to a functional car. Within 20 square miles, rubber perishes so rapidly. Metal rusts, or is irradiated, or both. I'm down to my last few drops of, drops of gasoline. Now that the generator is... En uh, not that the generator has anything to power beyond a handful of light bulbs. And if I tried to repair anything, those anomalies would pull it apart within a day. Hmm. 
I think the others have evacuated without me. I can't blame them. They probably think I didn't make it. Our team leader didn't. The second army escort didn't. Even the bug watch reporter woman and her crew were just... Well, their car has now been picked apart too. It's interesting that there's so many unique entries just for wrecked cars. Teletype autoscript, Arda. Reference, Hansen, R. 1655 to... Uh, trouble one, two, five, nine. I told him not to bring his own car. I told him the feds will give him a loaner or cover his rental expenses. What does he do? He brings his car. His own car. From Delaware. From Delaware. I have no idea how far that away that is. How long does it last? How long do you think it lasts? They're like vultures. They're like wicked vultures. I do appreciate the, uh, the passion in these notes, if nothing else, because it makes me feel less silly for feeling so passionate about these wicked vultures out there. The scallywags. Uh, oh, apparently we've got another thing in here. Safe returns. You made it back safely. Before heading out again, consider repairing any damaged car parts, unloading the supplies you gathered, and crafting new items for your next run. Any new roads you've charted are automatically uploaded, and the anchor energy you obtained is so uh, stored for later use. Thank you. Uh, well, actually, let's go through here. I want to I, I want to just recap these uh, a little bit, because I don't think I got all of them, did I? I'm fairly certain I uh, read through the abductor one, yes. Spark Tower, uh, we did read through this one. Yes, because it'll discharge into the immediate vicinity. Did we read uh, tourists? Dictaphone recording, office of Dr. Rich. Oh, yes. Yeah, she wanted to leave. Oh, God, there's one of them outside. Did we do bollards? Transmission fragment, origin unknown, March 21st, 1961. Yes, Anita, I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think that we're seeing here is something new and unique. Something unmatched by anything the zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree. Ah, yes, they don't feel that this is a reaction. It's just a, a natural phenomena. It's it's not guided by anything. Yeah, okay, we, we had read all of them. I wanted to be absolutely certain I had. Because it would have been very easy in the heat of the moment for me to have skipped over something. Right, so stable anchor. This anchor is in good condition and has been doing its job very well. Tampering with it, uh, for any reason, might affect this region of the zone, but then again, it would be such a beneficial resource to have. Access checkpoint. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. As instances of instability and unpredictable weather increased, regular checkpoints were installed not only for security, but also to track movement to ensure employees were journeying safely through the region. They allowed Arda to monitor each vehicle and send out search teams to find any that had not recently checked in. Unstable regions could be, uh, could even, uh, sorry, could be even closed off. That is an odd way of writing it. And safe routes opened up in response to ever-changing hazards of the zone. Trespassing may have been one kind of problem, but in the increasingly unpredictable corner of the world, that was soon eclipsed by lost or missing colleagues and equipment. These days, the few remaining zone inhabitants use the still-functioning, still-reliable access markers to determine which roads are stable enough to travel on. Gateway. The way home. This is the way out, and you should be double-timing it here, rather than spending your last few seconds scanning things! Oh, I... Fair. I'm not going to say you're wrong, but I am going to say it's a bit boring, though, isn't it? I mean, come on, I'm surrounded by wonders, the, the likes of which the world has never seen. You expect me not to take pictures? Uh, Archivized riding shotgun, we've already seen that. Broadcast transmitter harvested from an old radio station. This broadcast transmitter has been tuned specifically to work within the zone. 9 volt battery, every curious crafter's favourite tongue tickler. Haha, <laughs> yes. Pressurised cartridge, handful of small pressurised containers that could be used for both low velocity propulsion and rudimentary. I'm fairly certain we haven't read through everything he here. I'm, I'm certain we haven't. So I'm just going to quickly look through and see if anything doesn't remind me. Uh, definitely read that one. Copper wire we read. Electronics. Yep, we have. Fabric we did. Gas cylinder. This large robust container is designed to hold gases under pressure. Glass shards. Yep, plasma we read in the zone. A small, tightly sealed cylinder containing an extremely conductive material composed mostly of highly charged particles. Do not open it. Uh, we've seen that. Rubber we've seen. Scrap metal. Assortment of irregular and damaged section of steel. Uh, road flare. Cheap equipable light source. Useful in a pinch. It's powerful potassium-based incendiary. Burns bright and burns brief. 
Alright, dumpster pill. Slice the pill in half. Yes, we've read all of them. Okay, so we hadn't missed any of those. I really, really had the impression that I had, but apparently not. I'm very glad about that. Uh, tools. Okay, we've got a few things in here to have a look at. And there's probably a couple of things that I've missed, but I'm not going to go through everything in here in order to find them. If you notice anything that I haven't picked out myself, let me know in the comments and I will make a special point of reading it later on. A flare gun. A far better way to hurl flares into the world than by risking a strained arm or the embarrassment of a poly aim throw. That is fair. No one wants to be embarrassed by a poly aim throw. Panels. Um, steel panel. A core piece of a car, just about up to factory standard. Dependably rigid, reasonably resistant, perfectly passable, absolutely adequate. Basically boring. Uh, I think we've seen all these. Fractures are growing, glasses of fragile material. Yep. <clears throat> Charged, full of juice. A recent arc, discharge or blast of electricity. Fill this with a hair bristling amount of energy. Okay, yeah, we've been through all of that. Okay, I, apparently I was a lot more on, on the ball of picking these things out than I realized. Gateway link. A truly unique marvel of modern technology. There is surely nothing like this anywhere in the world. Could anyone else even come close to understanding and creating such a thing? Fair. Uh, I think we've seen everything here. Yep, yeah, we've looked at all of that. I've got nothing in this section, nothing in that section. Uh, transmissions. We've seen all of those. I think we've seen all of these. Remember, introductions, a tiny test. Into the Wilderness, Glowing Pillar, Charge and Ready, Get Moving, yeah, we, we heard all of these. These ones, most of these, played automatically, I would say. Almost all of them did. Trip number one. Oh, oh, we get a report for the trip as well. Oh, this is actually quite marvellous. I like it. Run report. Success. Unknown. One, one, tw what? Oh, date unknown and then the time. Car damage. Okay, fair enough. Radiation, 2%. Impact, I'm going to say, 73%. Charge with 25%. Um, I guess nothing of these spikes. Cold, maybe? I, I have no idea. Personal damage. Okay, yeah, well... Oh, actually, I took a lot of damage from being charged. Huh. I was expecting radiation to be higher, but no. Apparently not. Uh, total damage to the car. Uh, we didn't fully repair. Total damage to me. I massively overhealed, because I... Uh, kept taking damage, I, I guess, just like when I got to 100%, it just, you know, literally overhealed, so it still tracks how much healing was applied. Uh, I travelled almost, as, well, no, I I, uh, I travelled almost a third more by car than by foot, but I'm still kind of impressed that I covered that much distance on my two legs. Uh, there's uh, no idea what this is. Um... Fuel, I guess. How much fuel was used? How much battery was used? We didn't charge a battery at all, whereas we did refuel the car, I, I suppose. Storm duration, storm exposure, top speed was 80 miles per hour. Trees destroyed in 20. Ah, the dappling way. Well done. Uh, this is the amount of energy we got. Car airborne time, 19 seconds. Uphill driving time, 7 seconds. All right, and then the route we took. That's, I can only assume that's going to be really interesting to us later on where we can compare them. We cannot, however, rename the trip. Very sad. All right, we've done everything we needed to do there. Uh, first and foremost, I guess we're going to do as Dr. Oppy has asked us to. Oh, come on. Oh, another thing that I was told is you can absolutely... I think there's another one we can break over here. You can absolutely start pre-charging it as long as you do it... Oh, as long as you do it when, you, when you're walking. Even if you start running after the effect you will stop it charging. Okay, it's going to have to time it, though. But I like that. That is going to be super useful. What is this room? I like it. It looks like something out of the uh, early levels of Final Fantasy VII. Definitely Shinra tech. 100%. Is it another locker? What? There are handbrakes in this game! Okay, well, uh, let me grab a little bit of everything, then. Uh, all of the time. Uh, handbrake. Pick that up. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. Uh, well, I mean, you know, that is always uh, a goal, I suppose. Let's uh, move some things around in here. Let's shimmy that over. A hand vac and a handbrake. We've already read the handbrake, but I'm going to 
take this. Can I install it somewhere? Handvac, canned food. Have I not read these things? Can I put this in a place? Uh, it doesn't appear that I can. Okay. Maybe I can't. I was assuming that I could install it on my car in some way. No, no, I didn't want to get inside any of it. I just want to open the door. Uh, oh, I hold to open it. Okay. Can I pop this in here? No, do I install it somewhere else? Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? I'll do as the uh, the game is asking you rather than trying to effectively sequence break. But uh, let's first check out the logbook for the hand vac. Uh, oh, canned food. Certain dried or canned foods can last a remarkably long time in storage, and they, the expiry date is only ever a guide, right? Mm, not sure about that one. Uh, hand vac. Using most of the same basic principles as a domestic vacuum cleaner, though without any regard for safety constraints. This device allows for the swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid substance. It will try to suck up anything small it's pointed towards. Oh, uh, okay, that might be useful for getting things from under the cars. All right, let's have a look. Uh, Oppie's Pneumatube. Okay. And Vargas Autovac. Right. Anything else I can scan in here? I don't need to scan this. Fabrication station. Alright, let's open the logbooks then. Uh, right, the Vargas Autovac. What's the point of inventing all this new technology if you can't use them to spruce things up a little? Here's to a tidier future. Ah, auto base cleaning and it looks like a Henry Hoover. <coughs> I approve. Uh, Oppie's Numa Tube. The Numa tubes, also known as tubes, span the zone, a low-tech, low-maintenance method of communication and delivery. They've endured in a place where so many advanced alternatives have not. The fabrication station. This is where the real engineering gets done. The fabrication station will allow you to unlock a host of new technologies that will help you upgrade both your auto shop and your car. And that's really what we want, isn't it? That's ultimately what we're here for, is for the car upgrades, I think. Uh, apparently, have I got to... Uh, we might not have to. Uh, Alright, so let's... Ah, good, we can zoom out. So there's loads of upgrades in lots of different sections. There's uh, the index available by slot, by category. So let's have a look. Index available. Oh, that's the only thing we can do. By slot, garage tools, doors, panels, bumpers, wheels, all sorts of things. By category. Alright, I like it. We've got a lot of things to do here. Um... Prerequisites got to have the craft mat. Let me have a look at these things. Pre okay, yeah, everything has to be through the scanner. All right, then we'll do as you want. And then we'll have a look at things as we unlock them. I might spend some time looking through this whole tree myself later on so I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for rather than having you sit with me while I'm puzzling through things. But uh, for now, we'll just read the things that we have available and no further. Right, scanning antenna. Cobbled together using equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged spare parts, this will sweep the zone to detect pockets of stability. Okay, it requires one K-Lim out of the 3.9 we have. We need a broadcast transmitter, five plasma, and 40 scrap metal. I think we can make that happen. Ah. Oh, let me... There we go. Installation kit. Let's have a look at you. This is a brand new part of your garage, just waiting to be installed. What's the holdup? Ooh, what does that mean? Can I pop this on the floor? Tonk. Scan that? No, I can't. Okay, fair enough. Yoink. Hands only. Extend your range. Install the antenna on the roof. That seems reasonable. Going up, going up there. All right. Go. I guess we're getting rid of the old antenna with this? Yes. I I feel that, that any achievement that is basically part of the uh, more antenna or less... signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Alright. But uh, any achievement that is basically forced by the, the tutorial 
all the just the natural progression of the campaign. It's only there so that devs can measure how how far people are getting in the game, and if a lot of, there's a lot of drop off at some certain point, as a, to indicate that maybe a certain section isn't engaging or is too hard or, or what have you. It, but it always seems weird when you get an achievement for something like that. What on earth? This was closed before. Oh, is this where we came out? Yes, this is absolutely the route that we came out when we popped out of the gateway. Can I scan any of this? Really? I can't scan a single thing in here? Nonsense. Madness. Shenanigans. You have a funny thing to say about rubber and you don't let me have a look at this wondrous piece of techno- Oh, my lord. Scallywag. Ah, abandoned car? Can I... There was an abandoned car section there for a second. Where are you? There? I want to see... There, I've already got the lock. Okay, fair enough. Alright, is there anything on this that I can ha that I haven't logged before? I can get in there. Uh, got the computer, got the radio over here. Okay, everything else is still as it is. Uh, I am totally going to break in here, though. Don't get the handbrake from the lock. Oh, okay, so that's why I couldn't do it before, because it is part of the tutorial. Never mind. Sequence breaker me, still sequence breaking. Okay. I, I've got the handbrake. It's over here. I've preempted you. Now I, yeah, I can put it in the car. How do I put it in the car? Um, it's all the handbrake in the air. Oh, in the engine bay. Okay. I would have put it next to the passenger seat, but okay. There we go. Make oh, sure rather, to empty your trunk before heading seat. back out. You'll need the space. Alright. That's fair. No, I... I One thing about controls that are made to work with uh, consoles is the whole idea of having a single key which if you tap or hold does very different things and having very little uh, difference between the uh, the length of time required for these things is very irritating sometimes I'm gonna be honest uh, can I drop things off I can okay let's uh, well we're going to want to bring some things with us definitely I'm absolutely gonna want that I want any tools with me that I can bring um, however, I think I would like these stored in there. That way I can pop a tool in here. There we go. That, that's reasonably well set up, I think. That gives me a lot of room to move other stuff around. There we are, and I can drop these off. There we go. Now, it says, can I just break this down? Let me... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, no, 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 no. That is also not what I meant to do. Can I drop that on the ground and then break it up? Oh, I have to check because that is literally what it says. It's useful. Uh, I need to talk with the friendly dumpster. Hello. Are you trying to kill me? These up before they go out. <laughs> Says and then fails completely. What the? Oh, this is an essential thing. Okay. Transfer trunk. Let's have a look at you. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Rude. Why do you gotta say it like that? Uh, extra moving capacity, exactly what you'll need after those longer, deeper drives. And now you can transfer all the resources and items with ease, thanks to this portable garage buddy. Okay. A scanning antenna cobbled together using equipment from Oppie's vault and scavenged spare parts. This will sweep the zone to detail pockets of stability. We've already seen that one. Okay, well, uh, can I... Oh, this is huge. I greatly approve. Have I... Fit this inside. Uh, tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Tie is in good condition. Two, um, only two out of four. Can I talk to you more? Do you have anything else with me? Ah! Yes, apparently you are. I proof. 
Uh, actually, give me a second. First and foremost, can I put this in the car? Can I? I can't. Okay, fair. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Okay. Well, that is a bit less useful for me. But, okay. I'll, I'll be alright with that, I guess. Uh, I need to patch myself up. I've got to find, uh, reach serum. Find your way to town. I, we can uh, I need to charge the battery on the car. We've still got loads of things I'm going to do in the garage before we head out, but uh, we're also going to refuel it just so that I've got all of that done. There you go. I need to check if we've got enough fuel in the spare fuel can. What's in there? Yeah, we're good. We're good on, on fuel. Okay, repair the car. What do you mean, fill the tank 96%? I just finished it. Oh, sure I had. Okay, there we are. Uh, we've got a battery jumper. Oh, I like that list of things. Pack survival tools. Um, having more items to help us repair things would be very, very useful, I think. However, first and foremost, we're going to do some scrapping. I want to grab all of the components that I possibly can. Go. Now, one of the comments, uh, was fantastic. Thank you very much for double checking that I caught that. But uh, during the game, I actually have Steam achievements, basically any kind of Steam notification disabled. Uh, I, I hear the, the ding every now and then, but it doesn't pop up on the screen because sometimes that can cause issues with the, uh, the game's recording. Uh, but after the last session, I did notice that I had I'd gained an achievement, and the achievement was distracting an anomaly with a flare. I didn't miss it. it. That is a very interesting way of providing that incredibly useful information, but yes, apparently that's one of the ways that you can deal with things, so I will be doing that in the future. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but uh, Especially because I don't know when it triggered, so I don't know if I needed to do it in a certain way. So we'll be experimenting, but I did get the message, don't worry. Now, let's have a look at a couple of other things. Did I saw anything in here? We have actually got a couple of things in here. We've got a crude panel and a crude bumper. I don't need either of those, though. Uh, Alright, so, I want to see about this. Does this clear up everything that's on the ground? Oh, it did! Oh, I actually picked up my transfer trunk, too. Alright. Uh, I mean, the crude door is essential, but do I actually need it, though? I, I guess I could replace the door. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I've got doors that need need to be fixed. So, yeah, okay. Uh, but where did it all go? Because it is in the trunk. This is... Did I just waste all of them? Mm, no, that that's, that would be a silly situation to be in. They're not going to give me something specifically to trap me. <laughs> Unless, because I absolutely would. Um, let's see, can I replace you? Can I tear this off? Uh, can I... I can take things off while I'm in the, the garage. That's brilliant. Okay, let's pop that down there. Right, that's a broken door. Don't want that, want this. There we go, that saves me some time. I do still need some putty, but... Um, but that one's marked as essential, which is interesting. There's a... crude panel in here. Can I actually carry that around? Not easily. I think I'm actually going to need to grab the uh, trunk to move some of these things around. Yeah, let's bring this out. I'll have a hunt for my stuff in a moment. Oh my lord, I can pick up everything. That's so useful. Right, the bumper there is fine. What about the bumper at the front? The bumper at the front is somewhat damaged. But not as damaged as this one. So we'll use that, I think. Yeah. So pop that there. Move this off. Go and shove this in a locker. And I... Wiggle things around at all. There we go, perfect. Game is very kindly doing the Tetris in for me. I'm not sure that actually was an improvement, though I'm going to be honest. Any of the panels need a replacement. There are definitely some that look much, much worse for wear. 
Uh, at least that one. Yeah, okay, I think we can get rid of this one then. Yonk you off. And... Yeah, you are a almost fully repaired panel. Alright, not too bad. I'm not really sure how much use I'm going to get out of this, but it does make carting around actual parts a lot easier. Let's grab this. I don't think I can put that one in here, though. Maybe. Let's uh, see if I can. I might be able to jiggery-poke it enough. Yep. There we go. Now I can't fit everything in there, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, that being said, maybe I just want to break them down. But keeping a couple of spares around for a little bit would be uh, would be good. Right. I got them. Oh. Also, I can. I think I can hear things inside. Okay, that's fair. All right, never mind. Okay, that's good. I. I, I mean, come on. It was bound to be here somewhere. It wasn't just going to steal all my stuff. Worst upgrade ever. Right, there we go. Not terrible. Uh, let's see if I can stack anything in here. Yes, I can. I can stack quite a few things. Now, here's the question. One would hope that it is uh, crafting uh, from containers. We'll have to have a look, but we've still got 2.9 energy to spend, though, so let's have a look at what we've got. All right, we've got two available upgrades. Uh, actually, uh, no, we've got a couple. So we can make bulbs, survival tools. I can make a, a liberator, a hand vac, a light replacement kit, an anchor radar. Really, now? An enormous, uh, the enormous energies that anchors generate give off an unmistakable, unique signature that could easily be detected with the right equipment. And this is that equipment. Okay. Oh, what's the liberator? Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. That sounds terribly dangerous, but also amazingly useful. Uh, we've got the hand vac, so I'd be able to make these. I guess I can't make them right now, I've just got one. Using most of the same principles, that, yeah, okay, we've read through that. Uh, light replacement kit, how many breaches does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> We're about to find out, really. Uh, blowtorch. Uh, this requires unstable energy, so I can't actually use that one. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's have a look at the bulb. A tungsten filament encased within a glass shell of inert gas. Contemporary incandescent lamps are so energy inefficient that they produce more heat than light. Uh, we've got the headlight. This factory issued sealed beam lamp is rated to emit 55 watts of light dead ahead. Guaranteed to blind oncoming travelers, <laughs> immobilize the air, and add a few cents of mystery to any foggy morning. Oh, I like it. Uh, we've got re relightable flare. Ooh. This may not be the best improvised flashlight the world has ever known, nor is it likely to meet even the most lenient safety standards. It may even singe your eyebrows. It does kind of work, though. Alright, that's a possibility. Car body, we've got the steel bumper, panel, and door. First line of defense for any automobile. This is also the first casualty in most collisions, and often the best indicator of how good that any driver is or isn't. Are you calling me out? I think it is. Uh, let's have a look at the differences. So it's 5% more impact resistance, or 10% in case of the bumper, and, all, and only 5 extra health, but the panel has 10 extra health, and the door has some impact resistance. This is the type of sturdy, dependable steel door that your grandfather would pat with a trusting smile. Oh, yeah, we've actually already read that one because we've got one on our cars. It is summer tires. Currently, we've got some of our tires are spare tires, uh, which are just garbage. But at least, well, I mean, the summer tire only has better road rating. It's still not good for going off-road in. Hmm. We need a better option. How much would it take to get there? We might have to go through this to get over off-road tire. I know I said I wasn't going to look too far ahead, but really, I need better tires so badly. Uh, expansion racks. We can get side racks. Allows the mounting of additional pieces of equipment on the side of the car. That uh, doesn't take much energy. And fuel. A larger fuel can. Okay. Taller, deeper, wider. This container has much more capacity than your previous fuel can. Think of it as a new briefcase for your most important petroleum product. All right. Well, I, I like uh, a couple of these, but I really think I want to know what this radar is. I'm not sure I've got the necessary materials for it, but let's let's go ahead and unlock this one. Okay. 
Use the screen on the left side of the dashboard to assign abilities in your car. Very well. I think we've basically already read that, though. Yep. Okay, so it is exactly what it said in, in here. I will go through these things just to mark them off my uh, list, but I just won't bother reading them, obviously. Uh, ooh. Where's that? What's this, then? Why is that not showing up for me? Find survival tools. The matter deconstructor. Where is that in this list? Oh, I need gears for it. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, I can't ex ex uh, trust the available then. Because it's not just listing what I've got the energy for. It, I actively need to uh, get some uh, materials in some cases. So I need four gears. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical, the matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix, however. Uh, that sounds good. Outfitting station, upgrade cars is one thing, but now it's time to spend a few of those zone resources upgrading yourself. Uh, expanded lockers. Integrated thermo sap heat sinks allow this un- what the heck? Okay, that, that sounds like it's not something I'm going to be able to make because I don't recognize that material. Uh, store and install your vehicle cosmetics at this dedicated beautification station. I do like beautification stations. Uh, ingenious limb technology and advanced spectrum mechanical acoustics are used to repair car components stored in this station while you're out on it. Wow, okay. Right, well, we need gears. Let's go and grab some gears, then. That is 100% something we need. Uh, I would actually like one of these as well. So let's craft one of those two. But then... I need gears. Four off. Now, do I have... Yes, I do. Marvellous. Okay, we'll see how that works out in the field. Um, some of these things are probably only going to make sense in the car. Ah, there we are, under garage. Has anything changed in here because I've got a bunch of... Uh, gears? No. But the matter deconstructor. Let's get this one on the go. <coughs> I can put it. No, that's another quest in time. I'll, I'm going to do that one just so, to take it away. Okay, so I have to put this one here, it seems. Okay. Strong Horizon Zero Dawn vibes from this. Okay, well, let's try that out with something, shall we? Um, let's grab this. Can I put this in here? I can. Yes, yeah, very strong Horizon Zero Dawn vibes. Only instead of stitching things together out of light, it is uh, taking them apart by light. Very well. I think I kind of agree. Uh, we will drop off some of the random gubbins in my inventory, though, for now. Uh, let's have a look over here. Oh, we've unlocked a lot of things. Um, what about the matter regenerator? That sounded quite cool. Oh, I need more plastic. And there's no way of me getting that except out in the zone. Okay. All right. We'll we'll uh, we'll have a look at that one. Uh, circuit board plasma. Oh. I mean, still, I, I'm going to need plasma for that. The outfitting station I can already build. The expanded locker. I'd need more steel sheets. Can I make steel sheets? Um... Let's go to refine bulb. Is that something I can... Yes, it is. And I can make circuit... Can I make plastic? No, I can't. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, in that case, I am going to do a little bit of um, research over here. Let's go ahead and get that one done. Nope, come back. I want to be able to build all of the things so that I can at least craft whatever I want to be crafting. Uh, let's have a quick look through here. Bulb. Thank yeah, blah, blah, blah. We've got the matter deconstructor. Uh, let's go back into... Is this refined? Yes, there we are. Steel sheets. I need fabric to make steel... Hmm. A broad flat section. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. That seems not quite correct. Game, okay, but okay. Uh, what else can I do? I'm getting very low on components now. Reinforced headlights, roof rack, floodlights. 
Hmm. Do you really want to be, uh, to drive another humdrum everyday automobile, or do you want? Uh, uh, do you secretly want to sit at the helm of the zone's biggest, baddest, and brightest self-propelled illumination station? Look, you're speaking my language already. Uh, this tracking spotlight has been configured to respond to and follow the movement of your headset. Consider it your extra flash. I like that even more. Okay, there, there is a lot of interesting stuff, but let's have a look at specific car things for now. I really want off-road tires, but I'm not going to get it with the amount of energy I've got left. I perhaps should have thought about that before I started again carrying it away, but oh well. Let's see what we're going to need for off-road tires then. Oh, I don't think I would have been able to afford her anyway. Fair enough. Uh, this would have road rating of B, but off-road rating of AA and water rating of A. I would absolutely accept that. These specialist treads may seem oversized and clumsy, but they offer welcome traction in the wet and the mud. Then all-terrain, puncture-proof, paddle, paddle tires? Make a vehicle all but amphibious with this, <laughs> okay? Power grip tires? Could limb technology supplement the conventional wheel by boosting grip? Hmm. Okay, there's lots of interesting things going on here. All the various racks. Side storage, a trunk in the trunk. Extra large roof rack storage, augmented trunk storage. A true triumph of trunk technology. The back of this automobile could now comfortably contain an entire British town. All its occupants and their accents. <laughs> Honestly, up until the accent, that was like, yeah, you know what, that, that's, that's nothing. You know, British towns are fairly small. But the accents, if you can contain all of the accents in your average British town, now that truly is a wonder of storage technology. Uh, let's have a look. Is there anything I can afford now? I can get the outfitting station, the circuit board, the lightable flare. Let's get the outfitting station. Come on, you know what I want to All right, let's grab you. Where am I going to put this? I'll put it here. Oh, I do. Dunk. Let's have a look at the logbook. Upgrading cars is one thing, but now we must upgrade ourselves. And how does one do that? Oh, I can get bigger backpacks. All right. Lead aprons, powered boots, stiff, sh stiff shirt. That's an upgrade. I would have thought that was a downgrade, but okay, okay. Uh, we need a lot of fabric, is what I'm seeing. We need so much fabric. Oh, and plasma. We need pl lots. Okay. Carbon fiber glass. <laughs> all right. We've got a ways to go before we've got all of that, then. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, right. Let's have a look. I need battery jumpers. Let's get one of those. I would like a mechanics kit. I would like a ceiling kit. Maybe two of those, actually. Can I get an extra mechanics kit? Yes. An extra battery jumper, too. Oh, oh no. My bad. I want to take plenty of spares, you see. That should go in here. Um, I'm going to put the med kit in there. Because I feel like... It makes more sense for me to have... Well, actually, maybe... Maybe this would be better when I'm actively searching for anchors. So I could keep that in there for now. Keep my flare gun and my regular flares here. And keep the jumper cables in here. I, I really do feel that having a spare tire, is just it's just sensible. I'll keep a little bit of food on me at all times. But most of the car repair stuff, I'm not going to need it where the car isn't. So I may as well just store this for later. That seems to me like a sensible option. There we go. Uh, actually, I can shimmy that up. Maybe I could move these down here to have a bit. Uh, it's still leaving a lot of unused space, unfortunately, no matter what I do. All right, well, that's just good enough there. Uh, right. Uh, my impact hammer is about to go out. Oh, my, my vac is also about to die as well. I can't make another one of those. Oh, I need gears. Oh, I like it. Crafting the alternate components. Now that, I can absolutely get behind. I like that a lot. I'll store that in the car. I don't have a pry bar. Let's make another one of those then. Uh, what tires do I have on my car right now? Spare tire, summer tire that needs fixing. Summer tire, summer tire. So I need... <coughs> 
I'm going to make a summer tire. Need a gear. There you go. And I'm going to replace the spare tire. Can I just replace it in any way? I really can't. Okay, good. Uh, let's take you off. That's not what I meant to do, but okay. Still works. Do I want two spare tires? What is that? That is a status effect, I think. Or is it not? It looks like it's a status effect. Let me let me drop this on the floor and then scan it. Oh, it's loose. So yeah, it's definitely got an issue. So fix with the mechanics kit. Well, okay then, and uh, we're gonna get some use out of this straight away. But, before I use that on that one, I want to make sure that everything is okay here. That's all okay. That one is not. So let's repair you. Used up a whole kit, which is a pain. But having two spare tires, it's surplus to demand, but... I think... For now, maybe worth it. Store this one in here as well. So there's my spare. No, I, th I think having two spare ties is just going to take up so much room in my uh, in my backpack is un unreasonable. Um, ooh. Can I? Oh, I can. Oh my goodness, that has a lot of stuff in it. Alright. I greatly approve. Uh, teal paint. Kind of wishing I had the beautification station now. Uh, teal paint. Bring with you the colour of the car motion. Or of a thousand su suburban bathroom walls. Let the colour, also known as Alicia Blue, inspire you to drive with a new sense of serenity. Drive in peace. Uh, can I use that? I think I can. Oh, I didn't wait the whole time. Mm. Barely certain that this is actually going to distract me rather than make me feel peaceful, but uh, okay. I've committed to this, so we're going to do it. Can I... Oh, I'm already painting the, the chassis. Crew, can I paint the crew bumper? No. No, nor the headlights. Alright. Look, car. I've got paint. I want to use it. Warning. Matching paint? Really? It doesn't look like it's match. Uh, it does not look like it's matching paint. Game? That doesn't look... No. Whatever. Right, let's get this one done. Crew panel. Oh, it is matching. Okay. Doesn't look like it, but I'm very confused. Let's get this side. How much paint is there left here? All right, we've now got a blue... <laughs> Did we want a blue car? Probably not, but we've got one, and you're going to like it. Uh, it might have a little bit of use in it, like... Uh, uh, a certain amount of uh, paint in the can, but it doesn't seem to be going down very quickly, so that's fine. Uh, is there anything else I want to bring along? I could bring another first aid kit, and maybe that's worth it. It does take a lot of fabric, though, but there we go. Uh, I don't have the plastic for the repair putty. That's just the way that's going to be, unfortunately. So, I can't... Oh, Lord. Are you noticing what I'm noticing? My zero of one fuel cap. Why is my car? Why not have a fuel cap? Uh, 
There's a lot of caution on this, but we're leaking. Right. Oh, that's awful. Oh! Oh, we have got a paint shelf. Never mind. Uh, Alright, let's bring that over then. Oh. Uh, decal kit, the shuttle. Pretend you're part of a secret Arda space project with this decal design. To be clear, there was never such a thing, right? Right. Or radium driver. Don't worry, this self-luminous cosmetic is safe thanks to the efforts of uh, women radium workers who fought hard for better safety standards. Very well. I absolutely. How do I use that? My goodness. Oh, I love it. It works so well with the awful color of my car. I'm just going to put it down the side. I'm not going to put it on the bonnet, though. <laughs> this makes me unreasonably happy. Unreasonably happy. <laughs> my car is glowing in the dark with stars. That's amazing. Alright, let's have a look in here. Paint shelf, an artist workstation. These are your brushes and your palette, so to speak. Let's get creative, indeed. Uh, decals. We've got uh, reading driver. Don't worry, the self-luminous block. La 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 la. Let me get the other one out. Just pop it on the ground so I can scan it. Then there we go. That should have now added in. And everything is now cleared. Oh my lord. Okay. So once again, about an hour into the video before I even set it out to the zone. Though I am very concerned about the fact that my car is leaking fuel. That does not make me happy. Does not make me happy at all. But, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Alright. Well, we had a lot of things to read through. We'll have far less to read through in the future. Uh, I think we're ready to go, though. Let's just do one last uh, quick checklist over here. Everything in there is good. Now we need to set a route. Oh, we need to set the, the handbrake over here as well. Alright, so. Let's use this. Uh, change ability. Handbrake, skid on demand. Alright. Uh, replace current ability. Sure. So that's now control. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I'd kind of like that to be on the space bar, honestly, so... Can I take that out? No, apparently I can't. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, it's good enough for me. Alright, let's set our route then. Reach Serum. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I am. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. Okay. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> so, we've got one scanner charge, select destination, toggle legend back. Um... Got a couple of places down. This is where we're going. We've got different anomalies in a couple of these areas. Really? Do I not know anything that was in here? Like any of the anomalies there? They're all. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Well, I've got icons that are changing, but I, I apparently don't know any of them. Can I, can I scan it? Um, how do I use the scanner? Is the question. Oh, that, that uses the scanner. Okay. So, if I do that, thunk. Scanned. We'll be going through here. Out to there, and then we'll be jumping back from this location. Uh, this is going to take uh, two Kalim for the gateway. One Kalim for this one. I guess the distance away is what dictates how much uh, gateway energy you're going to need. Well, we're going to be going through two zones, so that's probably going to give us plenty of opportunity to gather the energy that we're going to require. Not much fuel over here, which is a bit of a problem. Lots of housing, though. Lots of wrecks, too. 
Um, there's spark towers here, spark towers there, and tourists in both. But a lot of stuff I don't recognize. There's, there's something here that I don't recognize, in particular. Um, potential stability there. Spark, oh, spark search. Okay, that's interesting. But what is it down the bottom? There's some sort of icon there that I don't recognize. Looks like a cassette tape. All right. Well, I guess it's time for us to get out on the road. Finally. Uh, thank you very much for your patience while I'm learning the game and being wowed and distracted by literally everything. It won't always be this way, but maybe for the first couple of episodes, it absolutely will be this way. But we better get on the road before our fuel tank completely runs dry and I need to get repair putty. Oh, actually, you know, one thing I'll do before I go. One thing. Let's see if the repair putty we've got can help with that. Can this fix you? I don't know. Very concerned. It's saying... <clears throat> like it has no fuel cap. Like, But how do I get a fuel cap? I've, I've not seen that before. Oh, we'll have to have a look. We will have to have a look and see if we can fix that out in the zone. Maybe I just need to replace the panel. We can always try that at some point, but... We'll do what we can. Let's get everything repaired quickly, though, before we head out. And then we can start things off with a uh, fresh car on a fresh run. Go. But this one really needs a lot of TLC. How many more repair patches have I got? Only one left now. Wheels are okay. Headlight needs some TLC as well. Oh, I haven't scanned this one. I definitely have scanned the bumper, though. There we go. Okay, well, we've already seen what that is going to be, because we can make it eventually, uh, once we've got the uh, tech for it. Let's get the bumper repaired a bit. I probably shouldn't be using the putty as I am, like, on every little thing that's broken, because it seems that it uses... And, and it's silly that I didn't notice it up until now, but it seems that it uses a set amount for each application, regardless how much damage it's repairing. That is a problem. Hopefully one that we can, we can resolve, but... Alright, time for us to go. Put us into drive, and off we go. Find your way to town. Well, hopefully it's not going to be too hard. Just follow the roads, right? I mean, it can't be any worse than the first place we went to, I hope. A junction E5, back roads. Oh, my lord, what just happened there? Uh... Okay, it's just the lights from behind. Fair enough. Let's uh, pop us in park for a moment while we have a look on this. This is the first part of our trip, the, f the first leg. Uh, we've got a nice long road down here. Got a couple of houses. Uh, not really sure what that is. Is that a possible gateway? No, it's just a closed exit road. Okay, that's fine. Two anchors. We've got a something pickup. Uh, the Remnants, part one. Okay. Fair enough, let's have a listen to this. Uh, we've got Sparks. So spark towers in this part of the zone are overcharged, making them even more dangerous. Very well. Uh, Legends. Okay. Let's have a oh, listen you to you. You know what my favorite Remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? Okay. You play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. Uh, this again. You know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. Hey. Fine. Hey, had a girl. Oh, the towers. Oh, boy. Hey, driver, listen. Okay. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. The remnants, one of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> In 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. 
a, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it? Uh, a rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Don't really like where that was going, if I'm honest. Right, I'm gonna get up, and we're gonna have a quick look at all of these. Let's turn the lights off. Oh, really? Remnants part two? No. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm seeing, and also the screams. Now, I took some time to actually uh, speak with the dapplings on this, given that this the amount of time on this recording is already quite, quite large. I thought it reasonable to uh, confer and see if uh, peeps would be interested in having another long episode or not. Okay, you are actively... Are you trying to shoot me? Or are you just looking around? Let's have a look. Where's it going? It's coming my way. One. And let's go for the other one. Nope. And pop. Yeah, we had a bit of a chat to see if uh, folks would prefer, uh, like, a purely base episode every now and then. That one was, would have probably been an outlier since, again, we're so early on in the game that things are taking a lot more time for me to get through all of the logs. But that's going to clear up as we go onwards. Uh, but by and large, uh, people were more in favour of having another longer episode so that we could at least have some time in the zone. So, uh, here we are. Do let me know, though, what your thoughts are on it, as I'm very, very interested in people's opinion. There we go. We're going to grab everything we can over here while we're out. And a third one as well. My lord. We're going to have a lot to listen to while we're out on the road today. I am very much in favor of this. Also, we need to check out what that is. Right now, I'm just like, you know, regular MMO uh brain is saying, yeah, don't go into the uh, AoE. You don't know whether it's good or it's bad, then it's bad. Right, let's have a look at you, what's in here. Got a little bit of everything all of the time. There we are, can I grab these as well? Probably should have just used one of those, honestly, but uh, actually, this is a good place for me to try out you, isn't it? Oh, that is so much easier. My goodness. That saves a lot of time. Am I going to use it all the time? Probably not, especially not until I can make my own. But that is very labor-saving. I'm a huge fan. Ooh, fuel tank. Might want to check that out. Oh, I love the glow-in-the-dark stickers. Also, what is my fuel tank? Ooh, that didn't look good. Where, where are you? Where, where? Doesn't look like we're actually leaking that much, actually. Okay, okay. For now, I'm a little bit less worried about it, but we'll see how that goes. There we go. Right, let's go back in the car and listen out on things. But yeah, do let me know in the comments whether you're in favor of having longer episodes to make sure that we have some time out in the zone. If, for example, I take a bit of time expanding the base, doing research, and so on and so forth. Or whether you would prefer to just have distinct episodes. But whilst we're out here, let's have a quick look while things seem a little bit uh, calm. We've got Sizzling Mist. Uh, memo. Uh, for the attention of Dr. Lopez, December 2nd, 1965. Addendum. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like the electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above, and we'd do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else, something both more intense and yet also much more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this for sure. Ah, <sighs> bloody tenure. Right, okay, let's uh, listen to part two. Okay. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road okay. signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That right. in itself wasn't cause for alarm. Kind of want to check that everything I can scan. Grow worse. Okay. Until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they oh, always my ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase oh, after dog. something. Ah. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. But no, it doesn't sound fun. Also, could the remnants victims uh, be out not having a handbrake is blowing my mind. I mean, 
we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the Damn. madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Okay, well, that's actually kind of an outlier. Wouldn't they have found the car already? That's really interesting that for that much time, they didn't have the car. But uh, this, the fact the handbrake is literally only here to allow me to, to drift. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's going to take some time for that to sink into my brain. I am sorry. We are going to be chasing my car a lot. Uh, okay, let part three. Let's continue the uh, legend, shall we? I already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been Not that I've noticed, but... On the car, maybe? I... Uh, it keeps trying to get away from me, you mean? From, then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. Okay. Remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. More quick slots. I really, really want more quick slots. I must confess. Uh, let's pop that one in there. Okay, so uh, the anomalies and the remnants aren't entirely separate entities. It's just the the uh, remnants are significantly more uh, powerful versions, let's say, or the anomalies that they represent are much, much more. Uh, intense. What on earth are you? A left, right? Uh, that doesn't sound good in a game about driving. Uh, let's have a look at you. Left, right. Teletype autoscript. Arda, reference Carol V. 1355. Tac 121264. Yes, sir. We lost total control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Six, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up, and sent it every which way. No, sir. Only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all the squatters only seem a little scared. Well, sir, the thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? But I thought Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria. Who is she? Oh, I see. Well... If we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work out uh, that out very fast. Why would they? Oh, of course, of course, uh, French Canada. I mean French, sir. So, yeah, yeah, no, I get it. But I thought the Canadian spoke French. Miller dated a Canadian and she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. Uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello? Do you understand me? We come in peace. Me, American. You can... <laughs> Friends! Sir, I think they're unhappy. <laughs> I should imagine they are. Uh, lead platelet. Too heavy to be practical. Too soft to offer protection. Too poisonous to be used without due diligence. Lead's secret power is its impressive ability to shield against radiation. Oh, there we go. Alright. Definitely want to take this car up out. While we're out here. Punk. And right now, having the lights on, I, I am aware that it is perhaps not the uh, best use of my power. However... My uh, counterpoint to that is it lets me see things. Oh. I didn't even notice that I needed to have a look at this. Abandoned Squire. We'll have a look at that one later. I don't think uh, we necessarily need to have a look at every single point about these things. Can I use that on this? No. No, I can't. It's just telling me in general sense that I can use a scrapper to get bits. Right, all of you juicy, juicy bits, come this away from under the car, please. That's the whole point of this. Really? Okay, fine. I'll pick you up by hand, but I've got this whole machine for it. You're making me very sad. Oh. The cap. Is that what I need? Seismic squall. What? Uh, that is... Okay, disapprove. Everything about this, I disapprove of. Oh, no. All right. Uh, okay, we're on the move. I appear to have overstayed my welcome. I'll have a look at size at all once we get somewhere safe. Alright. Uh, I need music. Okay. Need music to calm my nerves. Actually, I just want something other than the sound of these boulders on the uh, audio form when I'm editing. 
Otherwise, that's going to confuse my brain. Something horrible. Uh oh. Excuse me. All right. So this doesn't look like it's doing damage to me, other than just making this whole area very, very jumpy. Ugh. I disapprove. Let me get off the road a little bit. Although I don't think being off the road is necessarily going to help me that much. There's something over there. I'm going to park here for a second. It looks like it's moving, but it doesn't look like it's centered on me. Is it actively moving? Yeah, it is actively moving. Okay, you know what? I think it might actually be better for me right now to just stay still. And I'll take this opportunity to read about this. Um, Seismic Swall. Sometimes the very ground itself is the most threatening part of the zone. Something beneath it has changed, and during times of instability, everyone and everything on the surface can be at risk. So far, it's not happening under the car. Abandoned Squire. Transmission fragment. Origin unknown. Data unknown. Hi, I'm Jill O'Hanlon. Or Gil O'Hanlon. And I'm here to tell you why the O'Hanlon Squire is the perfect sedan for all your contract needs. O'Hanlon has over a decade's experience providing utility vehicles for state and federal needs. And with the Squire, we think we've really outdone ourselves. I mean, to be fair, it's probably one of the better shape racks that we've seen out here. So they might not all be uh, hot air like this. This affordable, reliable, and easily maintained vehicle boasts excellent handling and performance thanks to its 183 cubic inch straight six engine, four speed transmission, and advanced assisted steering. This is a car that's easy to drive, easy to look after, and as comfortable in the heat of New Mexico as the freezing forests of Wisconsin. Now, come with me as I take you on a tour of what will be the government's next and best all purpose automobile. Alright, fair enough. Thermosap crystal, the tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical applications. Alright, fair enough. Uh, how's my fuel at the moment? Fuel isn't amazing, but uh, the badness seems to have gone, which I'm actually okay with. You know what, let me turn off the lights, because the lights are pointing somewhere I don't need them to be pointing. There we go. Alright. What are you? Have we scanned you before? Am I not able to scan you? Fuel nozzle? Uh, oh! Okay, so that's how I do it, okay. We've got a lot of steel on this, I think. But, oh, can I just yoink this? Ooh, can I reach? I can! Oh, that's very, very nice, okay. Greatly approved. Pop you back in. Is that a scanned car? It is a scanned car. Uh, I actually need a flare. Can I? No. Can I not do that normally? Okay, I need that apparently to be on a quick slot for it to work. That's a little bit of a shame. Fine. Maybe if I would stop just throwing them on the ground, that would help. Oh, that one's gone. Right, now I can throw her on the ground safely. Alright, let's have a look at what I can grab off you. Now, I've just realized this area isn't actually perpetually stable. So, I probably don't want to overstay my welcome here. Let's grab the steel door as well. Uh, there's my scrapper gone. Let me open you up. Thank you. I need a new scrapper that I did not make. Oh, there we go. Never mind. Got plenty of ingredients, thankfully. Grab us a little bit more. These off-road tires seem to be made of pretty good stuff, so I don't want to pass these up when I can help it. And steel doors as well. Definitely worth me grabbing. And a couple more off-road tires back here. Now, there was something in the forest. Probably one of the buildings slash cabins that we saw on the map. We'll go and have a look at those in a second. And finish that off. There we go. Now, grab you, because this is a million times easier. Oh, my inventory is full. What did I drop? Oh, steel plate. Uh... Let's go and grab all of this if I can. Okay, drop you off. 
So definitely want to grab that steel plate though. Go and I think that's everything. But yeah, there is a little cabin down there that we want to go and have a look. A cabin in the woods. Absolutely going to be safe. No reason to expect it not to be. I'm, of course, lying. It is the worst place to go. Nevertheless, we're going to be going there. Uh, I am going to drop the volume here a little bit. Oh, my lord. Really? Already? Okay. Well, we've got two places I need to be. One is down there. Uh, let's pop a little marker. We'll grab the energy along the route. All right, lights back on. Okay, so we really don't actually have that long in a not perpetually stable area. Want to grab some energy? I would have loved to have grabbed some more plasma, but I don't think that's on the cards anymore. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can I reverse? Ah, uh, okay. You know what, though? I need to have a look at you, because you're clearly something. Alright, but we're not going to be hanging around since we have got instability closing in on us. Not fast, though, interestingly. Not fast like it was before, anyway. Okay. Have to bear that in mind. Do I have time to go for the plasma as well? I probably do, to be honest. Am I being a silly sausage? Yes. Absolutely, I am. I swear, if you're out... Was that you? Oh, it was. Okay, fair enough. Oh, they are both definitely within range. I really thought we were out, out of its range. My bad, then. Let's keep going. Come on. Alright. I grossly underestimated how far they could uh, express their electricity. We've got two of them. Can I get to you in time and not be electrocuted? All right, let's go. What? I am absolutely taking my life into my own hands right now, and I uh, do appreciate that I am perhaps being very dumb with this, but nevertheless, I have got the urge to explore, and I've now run out of my uh, hammer, so that one's going to be left behind. All right. Got to grab some energy. Going to grab whatever the uh, recording is, the cassette tape, and then moving on. Right, energy is right here. We Let's drive up to it. Grab it. Going to have to go off-road, I suppose. Well, that's a lot of off-roading. Um, it might be better to go off-road somewhere around here. No, we'll go all the way around and then go off-road around there, I think. I think that would be the better idea. Right, let's quickly go and grab this. Hello, Taurus. Don't think I didn't see you there. Though you were a little bit closer than I first thought. Not gonna lie. Alright, now, is that gonna start moving in on us faster? Can I pop that in? There we go. Close. Car's not in the best state, thanks to uh, the electricity there, but... Yeah, we've got time. Let's go. I I might even go for the other one, if we're feeling super spicy. But there is nothing else that I can grab along this route. Very sad about that. But here we are. If I had more confidence in my uh, ability to drive off-road, I would totally just take a shortcut down there, and I still might. But what are the odds we tip the car horribly if I do that? Pretty high, I would say. Especially over here, because it's getting steeper. That's now a cliff rather than just... Okay, never mind then. I guess we are going off-road. Very well. Well, not exactly what I wanted to go off-road, I must confess. But here we go. Hold it together. Hold it together. There we go. Oh, very well done. I'm very proud of you. Extremely proud. We are almost on top of whatever it was that we might be able to... Ooh find down here. Have I going past it? No, I'm right on top of it right now. What just popped up over there? I have no idea. And I really want to know. But am I able to find out? Uh, what am I looking for here? 
Um, is it you? Mysterious order recording, yes. Uh, oh, oh god, it's something I need to bring back, okay. Short play. Uh, uh, can I play it? Uh, frequency... Go. Oh, that doesn't take up much room. Uh, I'm gonna have to be very, very dumb to do this, aren't I? Are we that dumb? I worry that I am, unfortunately. As much as I shouldn't be. Well, the car is really not enjoying this trip. Okay, so it's... Is oh, okay. Dr. Bit more. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands, stiff-backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous, a lightning bolt frozen mid-strike, and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars no, let's not. and spontaneous applause. We'll risk it for biscuits later. But Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture, and she does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of limb technology, they yeah, called her. Okay, we can't the do angel that. of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes Spied. into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. Got this one there up ahead. Yeah, let's just go for this one. Blink and you miss at promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of Lynn technology disappear. Well, they didn't really disappear. Well, I guess they disappeared from the public eye. Very interesting, though. Might find a gas cylinder in here, and if so, I can go back and grab that uh, that shock tower. We'll see. But it seems that so far we don't have to worry about that chasing us nearly as much as it did previously. It was pointed out that I should avoid grabbing any plasma until I've looted a place, though, because uh, this way I get the the light stay on for me. Uh, let's grab this. And that is very, very sensible. There we go, pressurized cylinder. That might be all we need. Take you. And... You fabric. Ah, fantastic. Okay, we needed lots of that. We've got plenty of time, I feel. Oh, it's not what I needed. Ah, much sadness. Okay, fair enough. I guess not, then. Uh, is there anything else outside that I can grab? Oh, there's plasma, but I can't do anything with that, sadly. Oh, a fuel barrel. Uh, Alright, you know what? I am a little bit regretting not rushing back when I had the chance, because it kind of feels like I could have. I could definitely have taken my time to search these. What is that? Right there. I wish I knew. Because it doesn't show up. We will... And it's glowing, too, which is frustrating me no end. Because I'm very, very interested in what it was. But I think we've committed now, so... But it definitely wasn't there to begin with. So, does that only show up if you take your time? Is it perhaps a, a reward for being willing to risk it? Maybe. And if so... I think we will risk it in the future. Because the, the, the storm is moving extremely slowly. Much slowly... Much more slowly than I first thought. Uh, okay, pneumatic deposit box. What are we going here? Got some bits and bobs, some lights. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, we are not going to have to worry in the future. But first time seeing all of this kick off, so uh, was a little bit more concerned than apparently I needed to be. What? Uh. Hello, Sky Whales. Is it my car?
Ja. Man's for all the world. I swear it's the car. Alright, we need to move. Okay. So weird noises out here. And that they noises that had subtitles. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Well, I'm very, very curious what's going on there. And the fact that I can still hear it. Okay, there was one thing that I didn't scan in terms of the anomalies, it seems. Uh, and two types of wrecks that I didn't scan, apparently. But the next area is going to be perpetually stable, so we'll take a lot more time to properly look around. Um, there's two anomalies that I haven't seen before. That I'll be able to scan there, or perhaps one that I saw there but didn't uh, have the opportunity to scan. Might even be the source of the noise. Either way, moving on to our next destination. And that is going to be where we're wrapping up this episode. A little tiny bit shorter than the last one, but, uh, you know, again, the episodes will start to flow a little bit more smoothly as we cover more ground and read more logs and thus don't have more logs to read at the beginning of every episode. But that is going to be it from me. We have run out of time. I really do hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. Do let me know down in the comments what you are thinking about the series so far and definitely share your theories on what was making that noise. Was it the car or was it something external to the car? Who knows? But uh, hopefully we will soon find out. But that is going to be it from me. So until next time and as always, always do take care everyone